You're watching Cox Connections only on Cox 11. The MacArthur Memorial is one of the premier institutions in the United States dedicated to the history of World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. Recently, the memorial hosted a series of events commemorating the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II in 1945. The MacArthur Memorial is also participating in the annual National Spirit of 45 commemoration, honoring the men and women of the World War II generation. Here to talk with us is Christopher Kolakowski, MacArthur Memorial Director. Chris, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So tell us about the MacArthur Memorial. Well, the MacArthur Memorial is right in the heart of downtown Norfolk. The, the way I describe where it is is it's the big dome building right next to the mall. We've been there since 1964. We're uh, operated by the city of Norfolk in close partnership with the General Douglas MacArthur Foundation. We're open six days a week and we're a museum research center dedicated to the life and times of General of the Army Douglas MacArthur, which basically is the period, I'd say probably the Civil War up through 1964. And um, General MacArthur and his wife, Jean, there's something special about that building as it relates to them, is there not? Well, in contrast to a lot of military museums, particularly ones that are named after or about the life and times of a particular individual, in contrast to most, we, they are actually buried there. MacArthur and his second wife, Jean, are both buried there. Uh, he was buried there in 1964. She died uh, in 2000, in January of 2000. Uh, the analogy I draw when people try and think about what the memorial is and what it really is about um, is a presidential library, because that's really what our peers are if you, th if you think about it, if you think about the presidential libraries around the country. And, it's, and that makes it almost unique in terms of scope, in terms of what it does and what it has compared to other military museums. Many, many artifacts contained there. Tell us a little bit about those. You think of the general um, and sort of the war years, but it's about much more than that. It is. We have 15,000 objects ranging in size from literally little pins all the way up to General MacArthur's Chrysler and everything in between. And we have the standard stuff that you'd expect from a five-star general, uniforms, medals, weapons, you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But we also have other things that give you a chance to, to get to, to know MacArthur and his wife, the people. You know, we have their wedding rings. We have um, the general's razors. We have the, the lifetime passes that were given to him and his wife from the American and the National Leagues, free admission any baseball game anywhere. You know, so you get a chance to get to know the man. And one of the other things that a lot of people don't realize is we have one of the best collections of Asian art outside of Asia. The MacArthur's were given a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of pieces of art ranging from vases to paintings to everything in between. Uh, 4,000 of them by, by last count wow. that we have, and it is absolutely impressive. That's incredible. So we're, um, and, and tell me a little bit more about why Norfolk, Virginia? Is there a connection there? That's the $64 question. Um, why is he here? The short answer is mom. His mother's family has very, very deep roots in the city of Norfolk and in the Norfolk area. Uh, the family name is Hardy, H-A-R-D-Y, and the old family estate is now a city park in the Berkeley section, right next to the Colonus shipyard, if you know where that is, right along the banks of the Elizabeth River. And MacArthur actually came to ded dedicate that park in November of 1951, and when he, was, when he was in town, he said, I am a son of Norfolk, and when I come to Norfolk, I finally feel I have come home. Which, if you think about it, you know, being an Army, you know, an Army general, he had lived a lot Everywhere. of different places. Mm -hmm. So for him to say that is a huge, huge thing. The mayor at the time, Fred Duckworth, remembered that. And 10 years later, when MacArthur was starting to think about, you know, he's nearing the end of his life, what's he going to do with his, his possessions, what's he going to do with his papers, things like that, uh, there were a lot of places that were vying to house the MacArthur artifacts and papers. And Duckworth said, we're vacating the old city hall and court building, when going into what is today this Norfolk City Hall. We've got this vacant building. We'll build you an archive space. We'll basically build you what's there now, and we'll house it, and as he put it, it'll be the greatest thing Norfolk's ever seen. And MacArthur said, you know, I like that. I just have one condition. Can I be buried there with my wife? Sure. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's history. Yes. Well, speaking of history, we are in the middle of some major anniversaries right now of events 70 and 100 years ago. Tell us a little bit about those and how the MacArthur Memorial plays into that. Well, one of the things that, that 
we point out to people at the memorial, when people ask, you know, why 70 years ago this stuff happened, why is it relevant today? And I would point out that for much of the world, 1945 is yesterday. To understand modern Asia, to understand modern Europe, you have to go back to World War II and its immediate aftermath. And particularly for the Far East, particularly for Asia, MacArthur is a central, central figure in that story. And one of the things that, that we've been doing this year is we've really been trying to push and really highlight the importance of that history and its continuing relevance to today. We've got a temporary exhibit that is open until January of 2017. It's called Keeping the Promise, the, the, about the liberation of the Philippines. And the whole idea that MacArthur, when he left the Philippines in 1942, said, I shall return. And the fact the United States did that and kept that promise influences, ties our two countries together today and influences Asian geopolitics to this day. Um, we also just had a, a massive commemoration on August 15th of this year um, about commemorating the end of the war, Japan's surrender. But we also, as part of it, we did a presentation, an educational presentation, talking about MacArthur and how he really staged managed both the Japanese surrender on the deck of the Missouri, but also used that to not just end the war, but begin the peace and begin the occupation of Japan, which he then oversaw for six years. And really, to understand modern Japan today, you have to understand the occupation and you have to understand the immediate aftermath of World War II. So that's highly, highly relevant. With the World War I stuff, or with the, the stuff that's happening 100 years ago, the centennial of the First World War, we, that's a major, major push for us. And we actually started that in the last couple of years. Uh, we hosted a major international symposium last year for the outbreak of the war, the 100th, 100th, 100th anniversary of the Guns of August. Um, and in the next couple of years, 2017 and 2018, we're going to do another special exhibit on American involvement in the war and um, do another symposium, things like that. Um, and we're also working with school systems across Virginia and across the country to develop curricula, develop videos, educational materials related to the story of World War I and MacArthur in World War I to help them teach and to help them support their curricula and support their curriculum goals as well. Sounds like um, the archives are certainly valuable for students here and around the country. Where can they go to find out more and how do they, how do they visit the museum? We're located downtown. The street address is 198 Bank Street. We're right in the heart of town, right next to MacArthur Center, right next to the MacArthur Square uh, light rail station. Our website is MacArthurMemorial.org. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash MacArthurMemorial. We're open six days a week. The only day we're not open is, is Mondays. And the best part is we're free. As MacArthur put it as part of the agreement, we are free and open to all. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, thank Chris, you. and talking about the MacArthur Memorial. I haven't been in a number of years, and I definitely want to go and check out this special exhibition. Come on back and see us. Thank you so much for being here. When we return, the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce is not only the voice of the business community, they are a vital link for our military community. We'll explore how the Chamber is helping service members thrive in Hampton Roads when we come back with more Cox Connections. Mm -hmm.